All right, hey, glad to see you here. And we've got more about country bass songs that are real good bass lines that you want to add to your toolbox to kind of evolve you as a bassist as well. Now, I've really been focusing on the blues. That's kind of my cup of tea, but country is so close to blues that you can't go, you can't forget about country. And they, the work, just the stories that are told are very enjoyable. And, you know, I like some country music. So if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor at the How to Play Bass online course, IWantToPlayBass.com. So check that out as well. Subscribe, get your free book, get your free membership, and get um, get updated when everything new comes up and, and out. And subscribe down below here as well. Hit that little subscribe button right there and um, hit that bell notification also. Now today we've got a good tune here that you're not going to want to miss. It's Highway Man by the Highway Man. And it's it's one of my favorites in the bass lines. Not, you know, it's, we don't want to get too difficult on these bass lines, but this one definitely moves a lot and it's um just the whole chord progression moves around. It's not, you know, it's not a 1 4 5. It's not your basic 1 5, not your basic country tunes. This one moves all over the place and it's actually in the key of D and Real good song, great. I mean, there's four parts in it. You've got the Highway Man, you had Willie Nelson, you had Chris Christopherson, you had Johnny Cash, and you had Waylon Jennings. All phenomenal, phenomenal songwriters and just country legends. And um, so it's it's a good song. So it's really got four parts to it. It's got one one phrase, chord progression phrase, and then each one, <clears throat> each singer comes in and repeats that phrase, and then it's. Um, it's just them singing mm -hmm. over it, except for two parts, the ending and the, there's a break after the second, after the third go around. Actually, Waylon Jennings is the third singer in this, and after his part, they do a little change up too, but nothing crazy, nothing at all. So like I said, it's in the key of D. Okay, so it's, it's not a whole lot to it. So you, you've got B, starts off on B, the guitar does a little, little intro there, and then and it comes in on B, one and three, and then it, then it walks into that B again. Just A, A sharp and B. Then you've got B, staying on B for a minute, four, two beats, and then A for two beats. And two, actually more, you just go into the bar, so just hold on B, A, and then you come in on G on the third beat of the next bar. So you just two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's the only thing you got. It's you know it's not difficult. Just you got to be patient and wait for these these to come up. So just hold on that A for a four, three, four for four beats. The whole measure, but it splits them. It's half of two measures. And then three. stays on the B for a second and it goes A so that's just so it goes to B so you've got like I said it goes B one two three four one two three four one two three four and then we go to A so we hold on that B for a whole measure and then we go to the A for two beats go G D A so that's th three four A and then you stay on A for a whole measure and then we go to an octave E and this octave E now these are gonna all be for for two chords per measure so E two B four A So we've got the, so we'll do that over just from the octave E right there. So the E's on the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, 
So that's just a little, like a chorus in there, but it's just, you know, it's part of that phrasing. Um, so that's, so once you get to that G and you walk up, you do the G. starts the song out and that's the end right there he says I will always be around and then we go we do it over again so then we go That's the whole phrase right there. I think you can just listen to it and get a feel for it. Um, those beats do come in, come, come in on those beats. That is it. And then, so that's Chris Christopherson comes in the second go round. So Willie sings, and then we repeat it. Chris Christopherson singing his part, and then Waylon comes in. So now we've got a little change after Waylon Jennings' line, and it's just we'll go through it again. So it's just you go to. The, we're we're getting ready to start it over. So we ended on. A, we go right into the B. that does that section two times at the end of Waylon's and the end of Johnny Cash at the end of the song. So at the end, all it is, he's just repeating around and around. It's just D, F sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E. And it goes G, A, D. And that ends it. And that ends that phrase. Now we come back in to Johnny Cash's line. Same thing, the G, exact same thing, A. That's all it is, G, A, D, and then he does A to D. And then that's, that's the end of the song. So that's it. That's Highway Man, um, Highway Man by the Highway Man. And a great song. Just definitely listen to it and enjoy that bass line because it's such a great song. And that's a good one to just sit back and just play along with because it's not a lot of work. You just got to get those. When you hit those notes in the right spot at the right time, and it's just real, real good song to really enjoy. And I enjoy it a lot. It's one of my favorites. That's kind, of, that's kind of not the biggest bass line, but it's one of my favorites, and I thought I could share that with y'all as well. And maybe you haven't heard it, and you can enjoy it also because it's a great song. Like I said, four four legends there, and um, you know, and some in their own time too. So good stuff. 
check them out. Hopefully, you know, you'll get to follow some of Waylon's stuff and, and Willie's stuff because Willie's stuff is pretty complicated. He's he's quite the musician. Chris Christopherson as well, great songwriter, a great songwriter, and Johnny Cash. He's he's something in himself. So that's some um, good stuff. And thank you all again. And hope to see you on the next video. Catch you on the flip flop.